27th of the uh, Foundation of Empire. Also, Boingo, did, did you watch? Uh, you probably haven't watched one too few yet. No, I've been, I've been uh, uh, working on them, <laughs> trying to finish up this video. Yeah, no, that's fair. And uh, yeah, and that's crazy. I so there's a living ship in No Man's Sky. Oh, um, and it's a pain in the ass to get. Um, it, it's also passive. The very last part was annoying because I forgot to save any specific world with a portal on it, and then I had to spend a fair chunk of time finding that. But uh, I never looked up all the different types of ships because I didn't feel like jumping through the hoops to like dictate <laughs> what I was going to get. I just wanted it to be natural because it's like a Neopet, dude. You don't know what the fuck's going to happen. Yeah. Um, and I ended up getting a lime green glowing dark purple fucking spaceship with a like metallic front and i was just like oh and i like pulled up the list of all of them after i got it and i was like oh the only one i wanted done i don't care anymore you're good there's like fucking 30 of them and that was legitimately the only one i'd be interested i'd be fine with any of them but to get that one specifically like if i would have gotten one of the other ones and then saw that and i'd be like oh i'd have been like oh like oh hmm. How, how was your days? Uh, mine was pretty chill. Just kind of recovering from the Bayformers video. <laughs> that, 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 I took a lot out of me. I edited that whole video in one segment. You can kind of tell sometimes because there some things weren't sized properly. But I, I think because... <laughs> okay, so there's one shot that I'm kind of glad I didn't size properly. It was of... Because I showed John Turturro's ass at one point. Because that happens in Transformers 2. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I didn't size that properly, but I think that's the only part of the video that I shouldn't have sized properly. Because <laughs> I don't, nobody needs his, like, I love John Turturro. You don't need to see his full butt, you know? I don't know, maybe John Turturro's uh, wife does. His wife isn't watching my video. <sighs> lordy, lordy, gadordy, gadordy. I've started my new job. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, I'm trying to figure, yeah. What are you trying to figure out, Boingo? Uh, well, I was going to s say hello, everybody, and welcome to Modular Components, the Componency podcast for Modular. But um, bum bum. Um, <laughs> this is just we just hang out, we tell jokes, we try to keep each other entertained for uh, a set amount of time, and hopefully that you will be entertained for a set amount of time. I am one of your hosts, Boingo, and with me are other hosts. It's me, No Eighty Three, and it's me. Buster Corp. I thought I thought Cody, you were gonna go into a fucking Taylor Swift joke for a second. I don't know anything wrong. about Taylor Swift. <laughs> uh, all I know, like all I know, is my sister is a huge Swifty. Yeah, that. That's yeah. fine, whatever. I'm not, I'm no, no judgment upon. I him, listen to my Taylor sister. Swift like passively all the time, and I'm fine with it. I like <laughs> pop though, so who cares? Yeah. I like all music. I love being yeah. so coy when I say I like music because I think I can qualify to. Enjoy all almost all genres I've encountered. Unlike some people who only listen to dubstep or only listen to anime variety. music. What do you? What the fuck are you? What the I fuck know, is this with, weird I ass know. fucking <laughs> shot? <laughs> what <laughs> shot? No fucking basis. In you heard it here first. <laughs> Committed to memory and never accept anything else other than the truth that I have spoken. <laughs> I don't think the boy go listens to the dumb stuff. I just think Cody was just—he has a friend out there who's just like uh, subtweeting right now. <laughs> no, no, no. That never mind. Oh, it's a complicated lore stuff. No, he literally said, "Unlike some people here, Boingo." Like that was the <laughs> joke. <laughs> I didn't hear the Boingo part. Oh my. Like... No, 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 no. But um, there's a Taylor Swift song that goes to, where the chorus is like, uh, "Hi, it's me. I'm the problem. It's me." Oh yeah, that's it's uh, okay. me. Hi, I'm the problem. It's me. There's a mashup uh, of that song and uh, the impression that I get from the Mighty Mighty Boss Tones. That's pretty good. I'll, I'll well. check it out eventually. The, the mashup, not the actual song. <laughs> yeah, you are way too not white for Taylor Swift. Yeah, I know. Like people around me like her, but I'm like, eh, okay. I'm so, I don't like, I'm not like, she's ruining culture. I'm just really like, okay. No. I mean, if anything, she's pissing off the right people, though. So, mm. yeah, a bunch of uh, uh, red cap idiots got real pissed off at her being at the Super Bowl with her football uh, uh, 
boyfriend, fiance. I think it's boyfriend. Football boyfriend. Anyway, you watch the new X Men episodes? It's been a X-Men, couple weeks. X-Men, X Men, X the day. Oh man, I'm so into this show. I love how we like. I it, it, it's the show's like like it's already been a, not afraid to just have fun little character moments, but now we got like a full on concept episode with the Sega Genesis game. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we also uh, fucking got um. Almost called a Mo- Mo- oh, <laughs> Mojo. Mojo. Fucking Mojo. Mojo was like the first like Marvel villain I saw when I was a kid. I had one of the cards, one of the like <laughs> 90s cards. And I just remember being like, like, ugh, like this always, just like, ugh. Like, he's great. Mojo's great. Every time yes. I think of the Toy Biz build a figure, I just like, I remember seeing the figure on the shelf with the stomach uh, part in it. And I just like remember staring, like, I don't want to buy that. Like, <laughs> like I hate that. Like, I, I was so intrigued, but I fucking hated it. And uh, that's, I think, the whole point of the character, which is yeah. I mean, great. he's a TV exec. He's all that kind of stuff. I'm surprised they haven't tried to redo Mojo as like a Harvey Weinstein kind of character. Oh, I don't want that for the yeah. com- for the comics, not for everywhere. But you know what I mean. Yeah. You don't have to fucking push him that way. He could just be evil and yeah. the way he is. Yeah, I'm. That's why I said I'm surprised it hasn't happened. Not that it would be a good idea. I can see the MCU trying to do something like that. Yeah, I can see the MCU making Captain America a Nazi. No, no. <laughs> hey, Tony, may I tell you about a, a comic book no, called you don't, Secret you, Empire? You may not tell me about that. You're not? That's I what remember. I was referencing. I Absolutely. know, that's the joke. Boy, go, did I ever tell you one of the first event comics I read? Uh, um, what, 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 wasn't it like uh, Secret Empire or something? No, it was Civil War II. <laughs> <laughs> I hated Why? it back then, and I hated it now. It was the current event at the time. Jesus Christ! This is why we need uh, uh, nerds humming the shops at comic book stores to just tell newbies, "Hey, don't don't read that one right now. Just he- here's some other stuff you should read instead." Yeah, I mean, granted, I I I haven't been following event comics. I mostly just follow the characters I like. Like, oh, the new Cody Ziggler Deadpool. Like, I've been loving oh, that me. comic. Like, like, it's only one issue in, but I'm like, yeah, we are so back. I hope, I uh, hope Cody Ziggler's the guy who can pull Deadpool out of 12 to 10 issue miniseries hell. I really hope. Maybe. But here's the other thing. They, 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 Marvel uh, runs haven't gone farther than like 40 issues for a while. Yeah, it's lame because they're always relaunching. They're always like, Shaking well, the because here's the thing: before you would continue the numbering with just a new creative team, now it's like, hey, why don't we just renumber it at number one for the new creative team? It makes it cleaner to look at. It makes it easier to like, and plus we can sell a number one easier, you know? Okay, well that I don't. Well, I think it's more the issue I'm having right now is the creative teams aren't sticking out long enough. They're just they only get like two volumes to do their thing. Yeah, it's like and you, other characters have had longer runs, and I'm like, come on, come on. I don't know. I'm not saying you're, you're wrong for the uh, uh, for wanting that. I'm just more saying like there's a reason and a logic behind it. You know, I get you. There's a logic. Like I don't mind it going number one for a new creative team. I actually like that. But what I do do mind is like I mean I wish the creative team could do things for longer, like I don't know I, I I that's why like I don't think this will be the run to pull Deadpool out of ten to twelve issue hell hell but I really hope it is it is you know like mm-hmm. I don't know as much as the new movie coming out maybe that'll boost sales or so they tell me. Um, <laughs> ah. oh, it's also know. he's not wrapped up in the Krakoa stuff anymore. Uh, it's his own little individual thing, you know. Was he in the Krakoa books? He, he like... dealt with some Krakoa stuff. Yeah, because the Alyssa Wong. He was in it. Uncanny Avengers. Yeah, at least in his solo books, he's been doing his own thing. You know, I'm also gonna go back and read the Joe Kelly Deadpool stuff as part of a little mini Deadpool retrospective I'm doing. Because like, I I I, I kind of like did the early comics of Deadpool on a whim. But I also have had the idea for a while to just go through like all of Deadpool's comics and just be like, here's a little retrospective writer by writer run, you know? Yeah. Like originally, I was just gonna do the Jerry Dugan run because that's my favorite one. But I'm like, oh, let's build up to that, you know? It takes a while for Deadpool to really get the accurate voice. But we we started talking about X Men. <laughs> oh well, hey, that's and we'll finish. <laughs> yeah, but like, uh, yeah, X Men's real. But the last two episodes have been real good. The Goblin Queen arc was a little was a lot of fun uh it's a lot of trauma but like 
Oh yeah. It's also just fun getting more Jubilee stuff. Mm -hmm. Uh and then like, oh Storm, we we're catching back up with her, and it's like, oh, what's gonna happen next? Who knows? Uh if you've read Life Death, you know, but yeah. I kinda wanna like I'm kinda waiting to go in. I also I watch I also watched the first season of the nineties show. Uh I'll watch the second season soon. But yeah, that, that it, it still had the sauce back then, and it like I'm glad they yeah. updated the anime. Like honestly, the only thing like really lacking was the animation, but like I could excuse that because of the time, you know. Mm. Uh, I do know. Yeah, you do know. Do you Ar- know? Ar- 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 Ardino, Arduino. Yeah. Oh yeah. By the way, Buster, you do the that future Jubilee from Motendo. Yeah. Is an actual character from the comics. They didn't just make something up. Oh. Really? There was a there was a jubilee from an alternate dimension who was like cold and cynical and that was her costume. Oh well, like, she seemed a bit more warmer in ninety seven. The older yeah, jubilee, like they just used the costume. It's yeah, fun. that's fair. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah, um, yeah, just but comics are good when you actually read them and when people care. You know. Yeah. Have you been reading any comics, Cody? Oh. Okay. I've been learning about different parts and how to fix. Hey. Them. Uh, Maybe. Uh, what's what's uh what's all the poop parts? It's all the parts that deal with poop. Uh, so we got several different sizes of uh like sewer hoses. Whenever you're dumping, yeah, um, we sell them in ten foot and twenty foot sections, or ten and fifteen foot sections. And then you could also get a twenty and thirty foot box, which comes with either two tens or um. We sell numerous different things to create the taper. Or the proper taper for the the drain pipe as well, um, meaning like it's just like little stakes you put in the ground and it holds the hose at a continuously dropping angle. <clears throat> um, pretty much everything to replace every part in the bathroom, including stuff on most of the toilets out there on the in RVs right now. Um, the RV or the toilet RVs are very different than a regular RV. There is a gasket uh, like seal in the bowl and outside underneath the bowl. Like, there's one in there that you could, like, put your hand down and grab. Uh, they're they're shaped like, like chalices. Isn't that, like, straight up you're driving around with a septic tank? Yeah. We sell stuff to uh, help, di- the, the word is digest, uh, the, the black tank. Or no, sorry, the gray water tank, which is waste tank. Black water is clean. I'm, no, I uh, thought black water was because of black soil, night soil, which is poop. <laughs> I don't think that in RV terms. Okay, that's fair. You got one, like, you have the onboard water that's good, and then the onboard water that's, among other things. <laughs> that's poop. And you put, like, we sell, like, special pellets to drop in your tank that essentially, like, prevents buildup on, like, the, what I'm going to call the poop sensors uh, in the tank to no. tell you how failure or how much there is in your septic tank. Um, I don't know. We have all the plumbing bits for it. Um but you don't have Today, to deal was... with poop. You just deal with the stuff for other people to deal with poop. Yeah, although thinking about it, look, staring it right in the face right now as I sit here, I realize that with the amount of RVs on that lot and the amount of RVs that we take in to service and stuff like that, yeah. whenever I'm going back there through the lot, like there's got to be a chance that somebody didn't empty out their shit tank and they mm. got to service it and there's going to be some shit in that tank. Never before any other job have I been to have such a percentage to encounter human feces <laughs> and it's happened at every job now. It literally just has every single job so this could be three for three and unfortunately it seems like the odds are not in my favor jesus christ something i just did not think about beforehand thank you for asking me a question that turned into a nightmare <laughs> uh I mean, you and poop. What a better combination. So many other better combinations, like me and milkshakes, which produce poop. Uh, <laughs> me and Arizona fruit punch, because I love that flavor of fruit punch. Uh, that makes uh, urine. Me and bald, because I'm bald. Oh my god, you're bald. I, I never knew. I ne- Buster, did you were you aware that this man is bald? Yes. <laughs> you're just... I'm not going to engage with that joke, Buster said. I'm just not going to. Yeah, but also, guys, I am been really excited about a new the new Ultraman show that got announced just out of nowhere. Yeah. Uh, Ultraman Arc, because this guys, th- th- this one looks really fun, and I think because uh, like as like a more Ultraman, I'm more Ultraman experienced than Boy Go. Sorry to say, but like and way more than Cody. Yeah, oh, of course, way more than Cody. <laughs> but like you know, Boy Go watched Blazar, 
And th- I like how it's shaking things up for Blazar, being more, like, focused on an imagination theme. Uh, like, because, like, there, another video showed, like, there's going to be armors in this series. And just, like, the overall vibe is, like, like they, I, the leaks and rumors before this got announced that, like, have now been confirmed have said it's going to be more Showa vibe, but not in a way we expect. And it's like, yeah, I can see the Showa vibes, especially with the character design. Uh, what do you think Ultra. of uh, that Ultraman, Cody? Yeah. Is it in a chat that I put eyes on? It's it's in members only. Ooh, members only. <laughs> that, that sounds really bad out of context. Modular uh, only fans. Modular fans. Yeah, it looks like Ultraman. Yeah. Um, it's pretty good. A lot better than that skinny one, but I'm still interested in the skinny one. <laughs> the Shin Ultraman or Rising are you talking about? Probably Rising, the animated one with the fish. Yeah, Rising's the animated one, yeah. Because I'm also, that like, these come out like a month apart because Rising comes out in June. Which I'm very excited about. I'll be on vacation, so I won't be able to talk about it. Uh, I'll, I'll talk about it in like a video later. I, I'll because uh, spoiler alert, guys, I will be gone all of June. Uh, so uh, oh, wow. you guys are gonna have because I'm gonna be on vacation uh, for a place. So you guys are gonna have to hold the ship without me. Without your Don't worry, we'll hold each other's sticks. It's yeah, gonna be yeah. a return of uh, boys to men and any other funny shenanigans that. Boys to men. Me and Boingo need or want. Yeah, we'll figure something out. Yeah, you, you guys, you, guys you can bring some guests on. You know? I, I think this is just and my first time hour, just publicly. sucking each other off. Yeah, you're gonna have to YouTube will demonetize it immediately. <laughs> yeah, but I'm very excited for Ark, especially like because it's also taking some visual cues from a show I've talked about, but like at the beginning of the year, Return of Ultraman. Like, like, so that's fun. So yeah, I'm just oh man, I'm. I'm really excited to see how the show shakes up, you know? Especially gonna, because it's going to be the second show in a row to get an English dub. Actually, third, because Zet had an English dub, Blazar had an English dub, and this one will have an English dub. Well, I'm pretty sure I've seen a lot of shows with English dubs, dude. I don't know where you get the uh, from. Oh, There's no way it's You know what I mean? Show ultra ever. show. Ultra show. Yeah, no. English dubs in Ultraman is still a relatively new thing. Wasn't there an English dub that was aired on, like, CW Kids? No, that was that was Ultraman Tiga, and that was a four kids dub. That wasn't really like a proper dub. All right. Yeah, I made a video about it. It's one of the most popular. I'm just talking about like proper dub, like in this new era of dubbing. In this new era of dubbing, you're dubbing at a W. Yeah, I mean, it, I mean, they are more accurate and just well made dubs than like the four kids and old school ultra dubs. <sighs> yeah, Arc looks fun. Hopefully, you have. You, hopefully, Boingo watches it and thinks highly of it. <laughs> are, is this just your way of telling me that you want me to make a, a series of videos like I did with Blazar? Kinda, but also I just want to like oh, chill Ultraman more because I like Ultraman. <sighs> when is that airing? Is it? Is it uh, June? July? July? Yeah. It was a J month. Yeah, July. Damn. The, every Ultraman series starts in July. You heard nothing. I heard okay. I heard something. I heard was it Cody Farton? Did Cody fart? Cody, did you fart? No. Okay. You no, know if I know. <laughs> oh my god. I know I know. You know. You know. I'm gonna post something good that I really like to see and check it out. It's nothing that anybody listening could even comprehend. Oh. This is this an invincible meme? No, it's just an entire list of cyclopses. Oh. Cycloptoids. Shockwave at the end. <laughs> That's funny. Careful, Buster, was... There's some titties in there if you look close enough. <laughs> I do. I legitimately do not care. <laughs> Warning, Buster. Titties. Oh, I just realized. I watched Ralph Bakshi Wizards today. I think I'm good. Oh, did Basilisk you enjoy it? is just oh, me. pretty good. Uh, there was That's like just what I look like. There was like blatant like what's Triumph of the Will footage. Yeah, because they're. Nazis, yeah, it's just yeah, and I, Nazis. I, yeah. Like my friend didn't tell me about that before we started watching it, and I was like, "What? What? What?" <laughs> it was really funny though. Uh, yeah, they're 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 meant to be fascist Nazis. The the bad yeah. guys are. Yeah, like Ralph Bakshi really went. I know coward. I know people who use subtext, and they are cowards. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what did you think of my favorite bit from the movie, which was Fritz? They killed Fritz! Oh, everyone, my, my friends were hyping that bit up, and it was really funny. Yeah, that, that bit was amazing. You want to know why that bit's in the movie? Uh, Fritz the Cat? Yeah, but Ralph Bakshi made Fritz the Cat, uh, the Fritz the Cat movie, and the original comic creator uh, didn't like the movie, so he killed the character. <laughs> and this was just Ralph Bakshi's way of going, like, you fucking bitch. Yeah. 
Boingo, can you tell me who Basilisk is in that picture? I need to know for a reason. Let me see. Uh, beep, bop, bada, boop, boop. Uh, Demong, Cyclops, Kodos, Balor, uh, Argus, Rhea, Fury, Char. Basilisk. Where's Basilisk? Left. Oh, mm, I don't know where he's from. Damn it. I love that design. <laughs> oh, I found it. Oh, yeah? Was a mutant who was more Cyclops than the actual <laughs> mutant known as Cyclops. Also, like, oh, he's, yes. he's just a guy that looks like that. Yeah. That's, also, the, that's like 90% of mutants. It's just, they look a little freaky. Yeah. We do a bit of freaking. Also, boy, go. Uh, we watch. You're familiar with Red Letter Media, right? Yes, I am aware of them. Uh, how, do you know about creating Rem Lazar? No. That's a movie they covered, and my friends decided to put it on yesterday, and we just had a blast riffing. It was so funny. It's. I don't know how to describe it other than uh, only watch it with friends. Is oh, like a, so I can't watch it then. I yeah, have exactly. no friends. Oh, dang. He does have a power. Do you want to know what it is? Yeah. What is uh, Basilisk's power? Uh, in his eye socket rests a camera-like device that allows Basilisk to control his superhuman mutant ability to emit a pulse of high-frequency strobe light directly from his brain. This light completely paralyzes any sentient being that looks at it, causing them to fall into a rigid, fascinated state akin to a deer caught in the headlights of a car. The length of this effect varies depending upon the strength of will of whomever Basilisk stares at. Oh, so he has the power of a Basilisk. His mutation also gives him an overly fleshy head that is devoid of features except for sunken ear, a silt-like mouth, and a single eye socket in the center. Guys, yeah. I think Cody likes Cyclopses. Cyclopses? This one just looks silly. I like this character. Robots. What are other uh, Cody fetishes? Whoa, whoa, okay, oh, maybe easy. that's not Come on, now. Leave me alone about that. Yeah, exactly. That ain't how that I works. Mean, no, no, no. Here's... No. No. Classical fetish. Come on, now. That wasn't always a term of sexual uh, freakitude. Yeah, but I mean, any other word now, though. <laughs> It's like uh. trying to make the argument for the, the Nazi symbol. And it's like, well, I mean, it, it means P. It's like, yeah, but... Yeah, but why but... does this podcast keep going back to Nazis? Because <laughs> fuck them, that's why. Yeah, true. We must remind everybody how absolutely... Pathetic Nazis are. Yeah. Everything to do with Pussies. Nazis. Pussies. Right, everyone at home. Right, everyone right, at home. Right, right, right. We say pointing guns. Yeah, right? pointing guns. It's like that one meme with, like, the hand and gun. Who who is the best Nazi killer in fiction? Uh, that, I mean, they're BJ all Blaskowitz. pretty based for killing Nazis in the first place. BJ let's, Blaskowitz let's... is a pretty good pick, though. Wolfenstein. Yeah. Guys, I can't what? believe the new Wolfenstein is so woke. It's, it's <laughs> anti-fascist, which means it's woke, and I don't, I, I don't make that connection. I don't see what's going on with that whole thing right there. It's so fucking woke, dude. Jesus Christ! All the fucking idiots going like, all oh, the X Men's woke now for having a non-binary character. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, they probably jacked it to cano- the canonical lesbian mystique. Yeah. I don't. I don't know that that has any power. I know. I mean, it's just I'm, I'm, that's just yeah. like a that, that. Like I'm not supporting the first part of that, but like the second part, I'm just like, well, yeah. I mean, yeah, most anyways. Yeah, regardless, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm. Yeah. I'm making tangential connections. Anyway, like, but yeah, let's make just, some tangential. Like, I think that just proves why we need the X Men more than ever, like, and just fiction and stuff. And I'm glad '97 is like, you know, doing, doing well, doing well, and it's like people are enjoying it, and it's exposing the, the the not good people, shall we say? Yeah, I wish they'd stop edging me with Sunspot. I'm ready to see it. Uh, he he was on Motendo a little bit. Yeah, he yeah, he was a main character in Motendo. No, I mean, like, show you me... You want him to go full Sunspot. Yeah, I want him to fucking look like Sunspot, is what I want. God damn it. Bring, bring me the clear plastic again, please. Oh, yeah. Oh. You know what's annoying, though? When you're what? a really big understander of comics, and you have, like, my dumb encyclopedic face. knowledge on... <laughs> yes, my dumb face. Uh, um, encyclopedic dumb knowledge of Marvel stuff. And then someone goes like, oh yeah, no, this Magneto costume comes from this recent comic. And I'm like, no, it comes from the old shit that that is also referencing. Please stop. Do do a little bit more research. A little bit. You're getting close there. You just gotta scroll a bit on the wiki page. <laughs> a bit. 
Although, uh, like, I just, man, also I just love the new opening for the X-Men show, just to get back to X-Men 97. I love the, like, when, uh, my favorite part of that opening is when you see Magneto and he forms a little X with the little, like, metal bars. I don't know, that just tickles my brain. Ah, it's so interesting to see a version of Magneto that was much more a villain in the cart, like, the old cartoon, get the more heroic treatment that we've been giving Magneto for the last 20 years. Yeah, it's so good, and it's... It's interesting to see how they're trying to square the peg, you know? Yeah, and it just fits well with what they did last time, you know? Like, where it's like, yeah, Xavier died, he got assassinated in Season 5. Of course, Magneto would probably think a bit about what he's done. Oh, yeah, just to say. Just to say? It's a picture. Oh, Oh my God, look at that. Look at that adorable thumb man. A man. That looks like a Spy Kids character. <laughs> oh yeah, the thumb thumbs. Uh, Floop is a madman. Help us, save us. Floop is a madman. Help us, save us. Floop floop, floop. Spy Kids was really was really an interesting, fun thing when it came out, right? I was obsessed yeah. with Spy Kids when I was a kid. I wasn't a spy though. You wasn't I mean, a spy, but you were a kid. I remember the uh, uh, I think it was Spy Kids 3D. Yeah. The uh. McDonald's toy was just the buildable spider, and each little individual. Oh no, part that's of the that's my kids too. That's my kids too. There's an actual figure that they released to that, but it was like more like a life size replica of that. That was kind of yeah. like a spy toy. Um, I looked it up like last year, and it was pretty uh pretty pricey. Yeah, the third one's the third one's the one with Sylvester Stallone. Yeah, Stallone yeah. like the Spy Kids 3D. Yeah, and Elijah Wood for a blinking and missing cameo. It's not. It's not really blinking. You're missing. They really hype him up and then boom, kill him. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, kill him. Kill him. Ooh, moisturize him. Um, I actually always have remembered him, which is funny. Like I've always, I don't know. Like they do. Like I, the the, the intro does well. I guess. Yeah. I also really liked uh, Shark Boy and Lava Girl. It's uh, sad to me that uh, your boy didn't want to come back to be Shark Your Boy. Yeah, that one movie. Um, like I watched that movie. It was fine. It was like I'm pretty sure kids will enjoy it. It's like yeah. the, we could be heroes. That's what it was called. Yeah, it's like yeah. I'm glad like Robert Rodriguez hasn't like forgotten about like his little kids movies. But it's also it's like yeah, it's, yeah it it, been it, it's interesting though just to see the the what Robert Rodriguez career is like. You know, yeah. Just everything he's done. It's like, damn, dude, you're... If you were, like, ten years later, you would have been a bang-on YouTuber, man. Yeah. You're a, you're a bang... But he would have been Doug Walker, but good. So the AVGN? Yeah. It does the AV, I mean, the, even though the AVGN uses green screen, it's pretty tasteful. You could use green screen and have fun with it. Yeah, exactly. I'm just talking about, but, like, Doug usually, like, he's infamous for his bad green screen. Yeah. Uh, Doug is an enigma of a man. He's and you, you see those in the same state as him. Oh man! Yeah, I'm oh, I've, yeah, I've met him too many times. He is a weirdo. You've met him? Yeah, did, Cody. Have I never told you about this? I don't think so. Okay, I've met him like seven times. Oh, my God, Just keep, like, I, I used to be a fan. I used to be a fan. I'm oh, not gonna okay. bury the lead. Like I used to be a fan. Where it's like. You know, I was like, oh, let's go to the convention, or let's go to the place and, like, see Doug. I also used to be a fan. I just didn't go places. Well, that's because you weren't (laughs) an Illinois boy. No, I was a Florida-born problem. Yeah, um, (laughs) and, like, the last time I met him in person was during the Sonic movie. I wasn't, I was just wanting to go to the Sonic movie with my friend, and... (laughs) You just run into this minutes to society. Yeah, my friend was like they wanted to take a picture so i took a picture with my friend doug i'm going to send you that picture right now oh god so what you but the other person is not me it's my friend uh so and yes just doxing but, your friend i mean you can if you want to use the picture in the thumbnail you can just cut the friend out no i won't do that yeah you don't want the the, the i have friend too out much post, i have too much us in there Cut the friend out and paste us in there. Do what you can. <laughs> Where is it? Where are you putting it? I, I'm putting it in the in our chat. In three, two, only. one. Yeah, that's Doug. That's the man who made a very shitty uh, um, wall review. <laughs> wall review. Now, to be fair, you could post my face right there, and it would just. <laughs> 
and is he wearing a, the uh, like, is, is you oh there they will yeah he's wearing like a parody by jesus felicia. shirt or something yeah to felicia oh by is it like a by felicia joke? yeah fairly well by felicia oh that's crazy that's crazy <laughs> i love that i love that so much i hope you keep that photo forever <laughs> i do i have it on my google drive <laughs> On the That's Google beautiful. Drive. This was like four years ago, and now a third Sonic movie is set to come out this year. So, okay, you're not in this. Are, are you going to run into Doug Walker yet again? I have no idea. Last time I went have to go... Have you run into Rob? Yeah, I doubt with Rob. He was with Rob. I had actually, Rob like, Scallon? I, not Rob Scallon, no, Rob Walker. His brother. No, Rob Scallon. Uh, that's who I'm talking about. Uh, uh, he, I have not. Uh, uh, Rob Scallon's wife. I know who he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, just, I thought you meant Rob Walker, but like no, Rob Deirdre, Deirdre, Deirdre. Is he still doing that fucking show on MTV? Is MTV even still an entity? <laughs> Bro, who let Spawn? Or who let Todd McFarlane make the seriously like coolest fucking line of uh, Superman figures I've ever seen? Let me see if I can get this in. Yeah, uh, he has a DC license. He has the license, and I guess Todd just I'm really just saying, wants to. He's finally started making figures that are cool, though. Before he was just making all the 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 weirdo. Edgy Boy, he was old just making Batman. the. Yeah, we were talking Batman. about the. Now remember the, the cool Joker. Batman. Remember the Green Lantern Joker with Cox of yeah. Action Boy coat. I always I go have... back to that clip because I find so fun. Eh, that Brainiac is fine. It's a bit over designed, but it looks cool on its own. Oh, I love shit like that. Yeah. Like here, I'll uh, let me see if I could find you a toy that I have sitting over there that I could just take a picture of, but I'd rather find a good picture. <sighs> I know. I like. These aren't really what I, really what I want from too. Superman figures, but they're fine. Damon, I'm staring right at it and I can't remember what the, the name Brainiac is. Brainiac is the best it. one. The Brainiac is the best one here. Everything else is like hit or miss for me. I like the two different Supermans and the fact that Todd just like this year is like, you know what, motherfuckers? Y'all want to talk shit about me? Here comes some cloth goods. Eat my ass. Like, yeah, that's fair. Zod, Ghost of Zod looks neat. Yeah, it's glow in the dark, so I'm it's bi- I'm biased. It's all robots and glow in the dark shit. So. Robots in disguise. Robots, robots and in poop. The dark. Yeah, I mean, it'll, it'll boingo. It's robots and piss. Oh my god, do robots piss? Well, according to Michael Bay, they do. I guess this is also a good way for me to see how much that figure is worth now. So let's find out. Ooh, which figure? The one he's going to oh, show us in a minute. <laughs> it's not that. Keeping much. it for another forty years or something, probably. Who knows? Who knows? Who pees? Who pukes? They are called. Uh, assemble boards. Assemble boards. Fascinating. As if it didn't need to sound more like something I'd already buy anyway. Yeah, that's that does sound very Cody core. It's like yeah, what it's uh, you might not be interested. It's called um, build a bot or something. I don't know. Fucking assembly mech or something. fuck you. Yeah, fuck yeah. you, man. Well, was, was that go... like the scout from Team Fortress Two voice? I don't oh, know. Man. Can I do a scout from Team Fortress Two voice? Maybe. Mm-hmm. I don't know, can I? Do I have the time to listen to me whine about nothing and everything all at once? I do like like these motherfucking figures so much. (laughs) They are just bionicles, I will let you know right right away. Like, they're just just that kind of thing, but it's... Uh, Cody, how much of your soul would you sell to get bionicles back on the store shelves? Bro, I feel like if I answer that question, this would be the time. (laughs) (laughs) You just uh, just hear me, like, mutter something, and then you'd never hear... (laughs) I, would, uh, I, would, I just kind of just... want like a new biotical like story like or something. Like... Yeah, I just, I just, just give me the old toys, dude. Just do that. Just fucking do the street sharks thing. You don't even have to update it or anything like that. Just give us that old shit. I mean, you do kind of have to update because, like, isn't aren't the old biotics breaking a bit? So. I mean, Lego wouldn't go back to one of their old plastics that are bad. Uh, the only biotics that have issues like that are uh, the brown ones. Like, oh god, dude, does fucking the original. No, that's no, what, I'm just. What, I don't know if they are or not. I'm just more. No, I, so. I, I know don't the think brown that's po- brittle brown. Well, no, because there's brittle brown, but but I don't think brittle brown happened when Bionicle happened. There's no way because I still have my vintage uh, Fatu, Fatu, whatever E-A-O-T. the dirt one that kicks the rock. Um, yeah, 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 and I have Galley, my original Galley, which is like my favorite one, all always forever. Uh, translucent blue mask, uh, but. That would suck if that was brittle brown. No, they're uh, later in the Bionicle uh, waves, like maybe like wave four or five or something like that, where uh, it's one, it's after the sea ones, after the really cool sea creature ones that I don't own. 
there's one with lime green joints and that lime green they produced during those few years for several bionicle parts mm-hmm. that is what you cannot use the ball joint because oh. the second you pop the ball joint in place it will here's a the url to this thing that i bought like very long ago i have a couple of these from this toy line but uh bunga you'll probably or uh, buster you'll probably enjoy it. but it, it's essentially it just like uh revel tech joints but Ooh. that's yeah, like yeah. the connection there oh these kind of look sick they just kind of like um it, it, kinda looks like a, like... it looks like the final boss of a uh, final fantasy game yeah like final fantasy 10 or something to, oh, to me, it looks more like it's a like scrapped concept for Beast Machines in a good way. Because I, I know I don't like Beast Machines, but like, there's some good stuff there. Yeah, there's a good looking dragon one. Dra- dragon. Oh my god, dragon these nuts. No, I was going to say dragon. Of course, your face this podcast. Wow, we're dragging you back into this podcast. Whoa. Because there's, Whoa. A, there's a brand new and exciting topic that I've yet to mention. What? Uh-huh. Mention it. Mention it. And you'll have to tune in next week to find out what. Oh, oh are we, are did, did Cody just leave? No, no just, leave. just cut out. Uh... Uh, we don't need. Do we don't need Cody to do this podcast? We guess can... we do, bitch. <laughs> He's the sex appeal. Buster says, knowing that they need a vacation. <laughs> I don't need a vacation. I'm being forced on vacation. There's a difference. Are you being held by gunpoint? Yes. Damn! Tell gunpoint to stop. Look, I I tried to tell it to stop, but it just it wouldn't. Like I, you know, I value my life, and I'll get back to it. Is gunpoint sounds like it'd be a transformer name? Is there a transformer named gunpoint? No, there's one named point blank. There's, I mean, maybe, maybe. Now I'm just reminded answers. there was a fucking DC hero for a brief time called Gunfire. Gunpoint. gunpoint. Let me look this up. DC Gunfire. This is going to lead to so many fun results. Oh, no. Gives me Washington, DC as one of the first results. No. Damn. Oh, DC Damn, Comics. Google Google wanting you to start another January 6th. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. The real wait, Buster Core. <laughs> also, the yeah, real this... Buster Core. The balls we bust along the way. <laughs> Shut up. This guy looks like a Booster Gold knockoff. Uh, basically, he can hold anything and turn it into a gun. Ah, I see. That's actually a pretty cool weapon. So, like, I, I'm just looking at Comic Tropes. Comic Tropes made a video, and, like, he says... The, the video text says, DC Comics forced gunfire on us. And I'm like, that sounds really bad out of context, but super funny. Super funny. Yeah, I'm gonna share the thumbnail. Like, that's, like... Yeah, that was uh, that was a whole event where there were aliens that drank the spinal juices of people, and one out of twenty people got superpowers because of it. Oh yeah, like I think I think I remember hearing about that before. It was a very dumb event. Yeah, it sounds dumb. A lot of DC events from back then just sound bad. Well, if because I see that a... Brainiac combine about. It, sorry. No, because I, I, as someone said, uh, Sal from Comic Pop. That DC was third in a two comic publishing environment. Oh, because Image happened, and yeah, they yeah. were like, "Oh, we were second. Now we're third. What the fuck?" They were scrambling. Yes, yeah, scrambling for any kind of relevancy. Yeah, scrambling and rambling. There's Simpson toys. Oh, wait, of course there's Simpson toys. Yeah, Jack. Jack specifics. I can't say. That. They're going all in, though. They're doing it. They're doing a mm, bunch I'm, of different I'm just range, looking at Big ranges. Bad Toy Store just randomly. They made a Bushido Lord Kinney? I mean, cool, but also... Oh, it's a statue. Okay, that's not as cool as, like, a Revel Tech. You are as cool. I hope so. Revel Tech. Yeah, I know Ooh, the fuck Simeon is, is getting a Revel Tech soon. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I have a bunch of them, including those ones that I post, technically. That toy line, the uh, assembly board or whatever, or assemble board, uh, is the company Revel Tech teaming up with is it Revlotech? Revoltech? Anybody? Revoltech. Revoltech. Anyways, uh, it was like a specific artist in that company teaming up, and they did a little toy line. Neat. I, I, I really... Uh, it's really cool when artists, like, make toys. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of what happened to Transformers Animated, where it's like they did the character designs first. No, I mean, like, small badge artist-driven toy lines. Oh yeah, oh, oh that, oh that what you mean? I, I mean, I just said that's why I said kinda. Like, uh, like Glios. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, Glados guess, is still unstoppable machine, so can't keep him down, baby. When are you going to raise enough money to do one yourself, Cody? I really wouldn't have to raise money. I could get off my ass and start doing it because I yeah. could like, send it off. Yeah. But when you do that, you say goodbye to that design and understand that you'll see it in some market in China. When you... Damn. That's happened to a lot of guys. It's happened to a lot. Because there's a, you, you could send stuff over there that's like one of the places. I think now you can just probably do it. Um, I don't know. It's a, it's just weird. I've seen a lot of things pop up as like knockoffs and stuff, weird like art figures. And that's why, like, I think that's when it hurts the most is when it's like the art figures, like when it's like the Safubi stuff and stuff like that, like knocked off. Mm-hmm. I don't know, because that's like, it feels like a lot more direct into the steam. Yeah. But yeah. That's one reason why I want to be big successful YouTube, man, is I just want to be able to pump money into you and go like, hey, do the thing. Do the thing now. Trying to pump money into me? Huh? Pump, pump money into your into friends? Me, pump money into my friends. Just do the pump thing. Pump into your friends. Pump in your friends. Pump them up. Guilt free. <laughs> like they're blueberries and Willy Wonka. Now, have you have you ever seen the, the Bill Clinton Guilty Gear mod where it says, kill your friends, guilt free? No, I have seen the, I've seen Bill Clinton hold up a copy of Guilty Gear and say that, but yeah, yeah. Someone made a mod where it's like, okay, it's like as the announcer, it's Bill Clinton saying that. I was like, kill your friends, guilt free, fight. You know, that's a good Bill Clinton voice. I feel like I was right there. Bill Clinton's in the room with us right now. <laughs> you really feel Monica like Lewinsky's in the room with Clinton. us right now. You really you feel really... like Bill Clinton. Yeah, that's a... no, it that makes you feel like. Bill Clinton. Yeah. Screw feeling like Spider Man. I want to feel like Bill Clinton. I want to feel like I was the president once and I had way too much power for. No, that actually, that sounds awful. Never mind. I, I think. You got a blowjob in the Oval Office. You could have done it anywhere blow. else. Did y'all forget that, like, y'all remember that, like, uh, fucking. <laughs> it was, uh. Yeah, I think it was just, like, two dudes, like, fucking on the Supreme Court floor. It was, like, I... uh, last month, I think, or the month before. <laughs> Just like straight up, like they posted a OnlyFans video. They were like congressmen, um, or it might have been like a worker there or something like that. But oh it was like right God. there on the fucking floor. It's crazy. <laughs> it's a lot of that, man, uh, we're fricked. But let's not think about how we're fricked. Let's think about uh... freaking other people. Yeah, sure. With condoms and consent. Yeah, it's a frick or be fricked world out there. Travis, it's fricked or be fricked. Five nights at Frickies. All right, let's. That's uh, that's on one website or another. Probably. Hey, Bolingo, what's your opinion on... Silence? Yeah, what's your opinion on silence? <laughs> it, it can be golden sometimes. <laughs> oh! <Ugh>. <laughs> I heard the visceral pain from that, Cody. <laughs> you was not having it. You were not sometimes having honesty it. honesty is the best policy, I'm sorry. <laughs> Say that to my face. Probably have. <laughs> you, oh. I know damn well you have said worse things to me to my face repeatedly. That's because it's harder to resist the love spell. In whoa, person, so whoa, whoa, whoa! That's cr- <laughs> so, guys. What do you guys think of uh, internet? I don't know if it's going to be successful, guys. You mean computers talking to each other? I don't know. Ah, the computer. I think, therefore, I am. You think for uh, I yeah, am all my friends are there? To be... so I just got got my camera ghost. Oh, that worked. What did it be? Man, Dragon's Dogma Two is a video game that I haven't played yet. Yeah, that's a video game that I also have not played yet. I've heard good things about it. Yeah, especially when you aren't a bitch and complaining about how the game does a thing without telling you when the game tells you what it's doing. Or are you subtweeting this time? Um, no, okay, so here's the thing. There's a mechanic that if your pawns, which are your NPC-controlled uh, uh, party members, mm-hmm. um, get a sickness that's in-game, uh, it's incurable, and it will spread. And they directly tell you, the player, hey, I'm sick. And people ignored it and got entire, and got entire towns in the game dead. All the NPCs dead. It's amazing. Pay attention. <laughs> and people were going like, oh, this is such a big bug. I wasn't warned of anything. And then people who were actually paying attention to the game were like, what are you talking about? They tell you when they're sick. 
Are you telling me that they figured out a way to figure out a way to figure out a way? Figure out a way to figure out a way to figure out a way. No, I was just going to say uh, some something something COVID joke. Yeah. But... And uh, the best part is, like, someone who hadn't, uh, in the conversation I was reading, someone who hadn't played the game yet asked, like, hey, is it, like, difficult to cure? And they were like, yeah, no, there isn't a cure. But here's the thing. They're the NPC player characters. You can just kill them and resurrect them like it's nothing. Like you, that's part of the game is you can just kill them and do that. So like, it is super easy to fix the problem, and they just ignored it. Again, something, something, COVID joke. We're all living in a joke now. It's living my joke, and we're box. all living in it. It, it. it, it, it's my jokes, and I'll cry if I want to. All right, I think we're really burning on fumes at this point. Yeah, yeah, let's wrap it up. Um, I will just say this. I th- there's a post I just found on Tumblr of uh, in Jacksonville, Florida, uh, a a woman's um, bearded dragon got loose and started sunbathing on the roof, That's... and she didn't know how to get it down, so she called the fire department. And there's a lot of funny photos of firefighters getting on the roof to get this bearded dragon. <laughs> Posts or it didn't have posts. Uh, I'm I'm copying the link to the the post for you, buds. Yeah. Should we uh, plug our stuff while you do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plug plug your shit, Buster. All right. Hi, I'm Buster Corp. I do videos on too many things. Recently, I did a video on Russia Sentai Tokyuger, uh, one of the best Super Sentai series, and something that's not one of the best anything. Uh, the Michael Bay Transformers films. Hey, and, it's pretty damn good American propaganda. Yeah, sure, buddy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's the joke. American propaganda ten- is shit, and that's yeah. the best version of it. So it's like, ah, that's it's the irony of the joke, you know? Yeah, I know. I know. But anyway, uh, <laughs> check those videos out. Uh, I'll probably have a couple more by the time this is out, or just one more. We'll see. Just, just check those, those two specific out. I like, I like, I just like working on those. Uh, also on Twitter at BusterBlade3 and Blue Sky. So just go check those out. Nice. Cody. Drop a fat ass link right at never underscore robot and find me there and kiss me in real life. Whoa. Mwah. Whoa. Um, hi, I'm Boingo. I do a variety of things on the internet. Uh, I'm on YouTube at Boingo Writer. I'm on Twitch at uh, twitch.tv forward slash Boingo Writer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Follow me in places. Uh, social media is links uh, down in the description. And hey, of course, like and subscribe this video. And uh, this podcast, wherever you're listening to it, in podcast land. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I uh, hope you have a good day. Does anybody have any final word? Pick a dilly. Pick a dilly, yeah. indeed. I'll pick your dilly. Pussy. Fucking, I'm not in the same location as you. Of course I can't pick your dilly. I got a location you can be in the same place. Right?